They, they went over the wire here and uh, went and kicked, kicked the, that door in and uh, yes. Someone broke into one of Middle Tennessee's largest food banks and took food that was going to be given to families in need. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bob Mueller. And I'm Ann Holt. Thank you for joining us tonight. New tonight at 6, burglars hit the Sumner County Food Bank. It happened not once, but twice in the same week. The thieves stealing hundreds of pounds of food. As News 2's Jamie Tucker explains, the burglaries will hit some families hard this Christmas. It broke my heart because we give it, we give food away. We, we don't sell it. We, we, we don't trade for it. We give it away. Hundreds of families depend on the Sumner County Food Bank for their holiday meals, but there may not be as much food on their table this Christmas because someone took it. They crawled over this uh, fence here. Pastor James Gill couldn't believe it. They kicked this door in. First last Monday and again two nights later. They hit Wednesday night while we were having, while I was conducting church services at my church. The burglars went to all three freezers in the back and emptied them of about 800 pounds of meat. I don't believe the person who stole it stole it to eat it. I believe they sold it to, to stole it to sell it or trade it for whatever, uh, whatever they wanted or needed at the time. So here's the situation they're in now. Just a few weeks before the big Christmas food giveaway and the meat freezer, virtually empty. I'm afraid it's going to be someone, a member of some family that we've been serving and I'm going to know them. Yes, Gil believes the same people who stole the food could be people he's given food to out of the kindness of his church. Now he says he's forced to install security cameras around the building, which will cost at least $800. I don't want to spend money that's been donated for food. I've never done that. I don't want to start doing that, but I don't have any choice. The food bank expects to feed over 400 people next month, and he's concerned needing to replace stolen food and spending money that would have replaced it on a security system. In Gallatin, Jamie Tucker, Nashville's News 2. Now, Gallatin police tell us they did take fingerprints from both burglaries and are actively looking for leads. Sheriff's deputies are also patrolling the area each night. In the meantime, the Christmas food giveaway is set for December 16th.